Staying safe on the road, protecting your cargo, and maximizing the life of your vehicle and trailer requires a sophisticated brake controller, especially when you're frequently towing heavy loads. The Kurt Assure is an advanced brake controller option that features a highly responsive sensor, a pressure-sensitive manual override, and a high-quality OLED display to ensure smooth braking no matter where the road takes you. Inside the Assure brake controller package, you will find the main module with quick plug, mounting bracket, two keyed spacers, two keyed washers, mounting screws to secure the Assure to the bracket and vehicle, and a quick reference card. Before installation of the brake controller can take place, you will need to make sure you have the proper wiring harness. If your vehicle is equipped with a factory tow package, you will need the Kurt quick plug harness that is made specifically for your vehicle. Some factory tow packages will have a blunt cut set of wires located under the dash instead of a plug. In this instance, you will need a Kurt 51515 quick plug with pigtails that splices directly into that wiring. If your vehicle is not equipped with a factory tow package, you will need to install the Kurt 51500 wiring kit along with a Kurt 51515 quick plug with pigtails. Before installing the Assure brake controller to your vehicle, set the manual control, output, and brake light switches to your preference. These switches can be found on the back of the unit. Switch number one controls the tow vehicle and trailer brake lights when the manual control is activated. Move the switch to the off position if you want to turn off the brake light activation feature and the brake lights will not be activated when the manual control is actuated. Switch number two controls the manual trailer brake activation. The default setting limits the manual control output to the level set using the output adjustment buttons. Moving the switch to the off position allows 100% of the output to the brakes when the manual control is actuated regardless of the output control setting. When determining a suitable mounting location for the Assure, first make sure that the unit is mounted securely to a solid surface that is easily reached by the driver. Also make sure that the area behind the mounting location is clear so that no damage is done while drilling. The Assure allows you to install the brake controller where you need it. It could be mounted at various angles up to 20 degrees in roll, 20 degrees in yaw, and 20 degrees pitch downward and up to 70 degrees pitch upward. Once you have identified the mounting location, hold the mounting bracket in place and mark the holes located through the bracket. Using an eighth inch drill bit, drill the holes in the marked locations. With a screwdriver or a quarter inch nut driver, secure the bracket into place using the two provided self-tapping screws, making sure not to over tighten. Install the spacer from the inside of the bracket with the key end going through the opening of the bracket. Place the washer on the outside of the keyed spacer. Repeat this on the other side of the bracket. Insert the Assure into the bracket and secure it with the remaining screws. Connect the Assure to the quick plug that fits your vehicle application. Test the installation without a trailer by pushing the brake pedal. Either the not connected icon will show up on the display, the screen will remain off, or the screen will go into standby mode. If the not connected icon does not display, or if the overload, error, or short is shown, refer to the troubleshooting guide. After the testing has been completed, secure all loose wires to prevent damage to the wiring. Once all the electrical connections are complete and the controller display is functioning, make sure that the trailer and the towing vehicle are on a level surface and connect the trailer's electrical connector to the vehicle's plug. Connecting the trailer initiates the calibration mode. The Kurt logo with a progress bar will appear on the display. If not connected appears, recalibrate the brake controller by disconnecting and reconnecting the trailer's electrical connector. While the unit is calibrating, the display will show calibration, or it may flash the output setting. When the connected icon appears, the unit is calibrated and is ready for setup. Before making any adjustments, make sure that the engine is running and the vehicle is in park, 
while making sure to keep your foot off the brake pedal. Adjust the output to 2.0 using the plus button to increase and the minus button to decrease the gain as needed. Press both buttons at the same time to switch to the load setting and adjust to 1.0. When the settings are set, you can test your trailer setup and make any adjustments to ensure a smooth and firm stop. Drive the towing setup forward on a paved or concrete surface that is dry and level. At approximately 25 miles per hour, apply the tow vehicle brakes. If the trailer braking is insufficient, adjust the output up with the plus button. If the trailer brakes lock up, adjust the output down with the minus button. Repeat this process until the stops are firm, just short of lockup. Once the output is set, you can make adjustments to the load. To do this, press both the plus and minus buttons at the same time to enter the load setting. Drive forward to approximately 25 miles per hour and press the brake pedal. Both the tow vehicle and the trailer should make smooth stops. If the stop seems slow and more aggressive braking is desired, adjust the load setting to a higher number. If the stop seem too aggressive, adjust the setting to a smaller number. Make several stops at various speeds and adjust the load setting until the stops are smooth and firm. Slight adjustments to the output control may also be desirable. If any problems occur during setup, refer to the troubleshooting section of the instruction sheet or quick reference card. The manual control button on the right side of the controller is a tactile button. The more pressure applied to the button, the more aggressive the trailer brakes are applied with no effect on the vehicle's brakes. This is useful for gradual slowing on steep grades or before a stop. It can also be helpful for controlling trailer sway. Periodic adjustments of the output and sensitivity controls may be necessary to correct for changing road conditions, trailer loading, brake wear, or driver preference. In some applications, when towing with the hazard flashers on, the display will show the gain icon flashing along with the hazard flashers. If the brake controller is set aggressively, pulsing may be felt in the trailer brakes. If any problems occur during the setup process, refer to these troubleshooting diagrams to help diagnose the issue. These guides are for reference only. If problems persist, see a professional installer for help. The Assure brake controller from Kurt is a more powerful, compact, and user-friendly brake controller designed to make towing a trailer more intuitive. That's why when you tow with Kurt, you know you are towing with the best.